Hey YouTube. Today I'd like to talk a bit about L-carnitine, specifically L-carnitine for weight loss properties. So carnitine is often marketed as a fat loss product or a weight loss assistant product. Why is that? So let's talk about the science real quick and get that out of the way. So carnitine is an amino acid complex that is used by the cells to transport free fatty acids as a form of energy to the mitochondria for breaking down and use as ATP energy in the cells. Synopsis, non-scientific version, carnitine brings fat to your cells for use as energy. I know why you're saying, why didn't you just say that in the first place? Get off my back, this is my show. So, let's also talk about the fact that carnitine requires insulin in order to be transported into the cell. So any supranatural levels of carnitine you have in your system that aren't supported by uh, insulin or aren't needed right then and there, what's going to end up happening is your kidneys are just going to pee it out. You know, they're going to filter your blood and it's gone. So what's the point then? Well, our bodies are actually really good at keeping a hold of carnitine in our system. Uh, carnitine is found in a lot of different foods. Uh, for example, 100, gra 100 grams of ground beef contains almost 100 milligrams of carnitine per serving. So you get a lot of carnitine in, in red meat. Not so much in other things. Uh, vegetables have very little, um, and even white meats like pork and chicken have in the order of like two to three milligrams. So a lot less than say ground beef. So why is it that people aren't constantly in trouble or you might see a person who's a vegetarian who is just lean as hell but they don't have all that extra carnitine floating around? Well, what ends up happening is our kidneys are really good at uh, filtering carnitine. So when we have too much in our system, you fil your kidneys filter it all out and keep what your body is going to need, or at least what your body, it knows your body's gonna need. And when you're in a carnitine deprived state where you're not getting a lot of carnitine in your system, your kidneys flip a switch and then they stop filtering carnitine to keep almost 100% of the carnitine in your body. So, What's the point then of, of supplementing? Well, as a weight loss product, unless you've got insulin coming into your system beyond that of what your body is expecting and has stored carnitine for, that one's up to you to figure out if you wanna spend money on it. A lot of studies have shown that the saturation dose of carnitine is 2000 milligrams on top of your daily diet. Statistically, Yes, there have been some studies that have shown fat loss with carnitine supplementation, but there's also been studies that have shown that it doesn't work. Would I use carnitine? I eat a lot of red meat and my diet gives me more than enough carnitine that I don't need to supplement with it, even if it were uh, a necessity. So for you, I don't know. I'd honestly say save your money and invest it in food or another supplement that has a little bit more backing and makes a little bit more sense. If on the other hand you're on gear, that's a different story. Carnitine can actually help you out, uh, especially if you're injecting insulin, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, anyways, hopefully this has been helpful on making a decision on whether or not you want to use carnitine in your supplement stack. Research is out there, it's really easy to get a hold of, and uh, that's it.